Lolita, also known as Tokidi, is a female killer whale, or killer whale, who has gained notoriety as one of the best known and possibly the loneliest captive killer whales in the world. She was held captive for most of her life. Lolita was captured in the waters of Puget Sound, off the coast of Washington State, in 1970, when she was just a calf. She was removed from her group and several of her family members were also captured and sold to marine parks. Lolita was eventually sold to the Miami Seaquarium in Florida, where she was kept in a relatively small tank for several decades. His captivity generated significant controversy and concern from animal rights activists and marine mammal advocates. Her aquarium, which is considerably smaller than the habitat she would have in the wild, does not meet the standards set by many animal welfare organizations. Their isolation from their natural environment and family has also raised concerns about their psychological well-being, as orcas are highly social and intelligent creatures that typically live in close-knit family groups in the wild. Over the years, there have been numerous efforts and campaigns to advocate for Lolita's release into a seaside sanctuary or her native waters in the Pacific Northwest. These efforts have faced legal and logistical challenges, as well as opposition from the Miami Seaquarium. Her plight has become a symbol of the broader debate surrounding the ethics of keeping marine mammals in captivity for entertainment purposes. And unfortunately last week we had the sad news that Lolita was found dead in her captivity, after 50 years of confinement. Thank you for watching this far. If you want to stay up to date with everything that happens in the animal world, sign up and leave your like. See you next time.